Hey everybody, it's Razan here, and today we are here with a um, tutorial and an update for you. So, first of all, we'll start with the update. Well, officially, now I have a new PC. It's a 64 bit, bit machine, it's a pretty beastly computer. It has 8 gigs of RAM and a terabyte of hard drive. And has a nice graphics card which is NVIDIA 750 Ti and the processor is AMD FX6300 which is a 6 core processor clocked at 3.5 gigahertz so pretty nice machine and uh, so as I promised uh, we would have better tutorials from now on but today uh, as it's an update plus a mini tutorial um, we'll be going over an After Effects quick tip or a quick tutorial, whatever you want to call it. And what we'll be making today is a small little animation of pop circles, which will look somewhat like this. Um, let's play it. So that's how it will look. We won't be making this whole animation, um, but the thing that we'll be doing is how you can uh, make this pop circle animation. So. We won't be uh, making all the text and stuff, and just an animation for the circles. So, uh, without further ado, let's begin with the tutorial. So, uh, let's open up After Effects, and uh, I'll just close this composition, and I, as I don't want that, I'll go to File, New Project, and I don't want to save any changes for the moment. And uh, <clears throat> let's see, we'll create a new composition here. And the and we will name it. Let's see. Pop circles. Okay. Uh, I'll have it at 1280 cross 720. I can even have it at 1920 now because my computer can't handle it now. Uh, now as it is upgraded, but we don't need to do that because I will be rendering it again. So, anyways, uh, I'll have the duration at six seconds. You can have it at five seconds. It doesn't matter much. So. Uh, the background color could be anything. We would be hiding that in a moment. So click OK and right click on this blank area and go to new solid and we'll name this BG for background and uh, we'll name uh, we'll color this with a really dark gray which would be uh, one two one two one two and click OK here. And uh, here we have our background. You could have a ramp or anything you like. So. I have a plain uh, dark gray background, so it uh, doesn't matter much. So now what we want to do, um, be sure that you have clicked in the blank area and you have not selected this BG layer. You want to go to your ellipse tool uh, by holding down on your rectangle tool and selecting ellipse. And uh, uh, I won't be having any fill at the moment, so to remove that, what you want to do is click on the fill uh, icon, uh, fill uh, texture and select none, none or no fill, click OK. And I have a, I'll have a stroke of a real nice green color uh, or bluish sea green color like so. The color that I'll be using would be double zero, eight zero, and six zero. So click OK. And uh, <coughs> you can drag out a circle. I won't be centering it at the moment. You can have it in the exact center. It doesn't matter. So we have our shape layer here uh, with the name selected. Click Enter, and we can name it Circle. Um, <clears throat> or you can name it circle one, right? And <clears throat> circle one selected. You want to go to contents, uh, ellipse, stroke one, and he he will be having some options such as color opacity, stroke width, line cap, line drawing. It doesn't matter what uh, uh, you which version you will be using. It uh, this tutorial will work in any version. So. Uh, to start off, what we want to do is like go to half a second. As we w don't want that the circle starts off just with the video, we want it to start with a little delay. So what you want to do is click on the stopwatch icon with the stroke width, uh, like so, to create a keyframe here, and decrease the stroke width to zero. So we don't have any stroke, nor do we see the circle. So like two frames later, uh, like so. Uh, make the stroke width around 30, 25, 28, doesn't matter much. So, um, but you want to have it a bit thick so that at least you see the circle after it has popped. So, 
the value that you put now would be the value uh, would, the, would be the maximum value the maximum thickness that your circle would achieve or the maximum value till the circle would inflate so uh, having done that we'll go uh, two frames ahead again and uh, decrease this again to zero so it will automatically create a keyframe here so if you play this by hitting our spacebar or uh, clicking on the play icon here uh, we can see what we have created uh, once it has rendered let's see so it's a bit faster right now so we'll make it a bit slower so let's see I guess that's pretty nice I'll just click off of it so that um, we don't have uh, that bad stir so I guess that looks pretty nice and uh, in the video the demo I showed you just now you might have noticed that there were some uh, lines or strokes going through our circle and to achieve that effect what you want to do is that um, uh, just you could just close this for a moment in all those drop downs and uh, click on the circle right click and select effect effect transition and Venetian blinds and uh, just go to the point where it um, inflates the most or so that you can see the Venetian blinds being applied so we'll make the transition completion to around 50% we'll make the width um, to around 36 you could play with the direction I like to have it at 45 and with that done clicks off of your circle so that you see the effect that is going on here so if you play that you see that your circle is ready so now what you could do is that um, you could press ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate that circle and it would be named as circle 2 so um, what you want to do is um, that once it has appeared like so you want to hold and once you have held your mouse button here you want to hold shift on your keyboard so that it renders as it, uh, it uh, sizes down as a perfect circle you want to size this down <coughs> as you might be seeing here so we'll place this here like so I'll just uh, change the value for the direction so that it doesn't merge with the uh, circle we earlier created so having done that uh, what you want to do is um, that uh, I'm gonna drop the, drop this down circle two dropping it down what you want to do is go to contents ellipse stroke and the color that we have here um, would be changed for example we can make it a kind of blue like so and uh, <clears throat> once we've made it blue I guess for this one I will just remove the Venetian blinds as I don't like them so much in this one. So with that done, I'll just increase the maximum stroke width by selecting the middle key uh, by uh, bringing my playhead to the middle keyframe and selecting that and increasing this so to around 35. And uh, after that, uh, what you could do is again press ctrl D on your keyboard to just look at that again to make circle 3 and uh, when you scale that down uh, you bring it you have to bring it uh, inside of your earlier circle alright and you could just center that up you could spend as much time as you want but for the sake of this tutorial I won't be going too perfectly uh, to center the circle I guess that's pretty much center and uh, just drop this down circle 3 content and ellipse and then stroke and uh, uh, the color would be changed for example I will have a off-white for example C6 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 and uh, once that's done I guess I will just improve or increase the maximum radius for this one okay so like so and then what we want to do is that um, we can add some initial blinds on this one so um, uh, click on circle 3 right click effect effect and transition and Venetian blinds so for this one uh, put that again to 50% or 51% doesn't matter much and uh, the width could be still, still be 20 and just change this for example this time I have 38 minus 38 uh, as my v uh, value for the direction now uh, as uh, if we render this for now let's see uh, let's just let it render for one, for a moment okay so 
here we have our animation I don't like that it's both of these are going together so what I want to do is that select circle 3 and circle 2 and just move their timelines a bit forward so that they um, come up a bit later than the first circle the circle 1 so if you render this now we see that um, uh, the circles pop a bit later so we are done basically we are done that's how you do this that's how you create the effect I hope you like this I hope you learned something new and please give me some ideas uh, on what I could do in the future so I hope you like this tutorial and enjoy it so we'll see you next time please like this video uh, to support my content subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials um, I've got a like a huge library of Photoshop tutorials plus Cinema 40 tutorials with uh, uh, Sony Vegas tutorials also so I hope you enjoyed uh, we'll see you next time until then goodbye and take care